Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll discuss some more definitions of uh, collision parameters. Now, the collision parameter is collision number. It is also indicated by using a Z prime. So if you see the exact definition of a collision number, it is the number of collisions made by a single molecule in unit time. So here in unit time, one gas molecule is performing how many collisions if you can count that number is called collision number. So number of collisions made by single molecule in unit time is collision number Z prime and another collision parameter is collision frequency. So collision frequency, this is represented by Z11. Here Z11 means both the molecules of a same category you are using. If you use two molecules of different gases, then we have to say Z12. But here now we are taking collision frequency that is Z11. The total number of bimolecular collisions per unit time per unit volume. So in unit time, in unit volume of gas, total number of bimolecular collisions. Already in the assumptions we discussed very clearly, only bimolecular collisions are considered. Now, if you observe the gas sample uh, per unit time and uh, volume is a unit volume and uh, totally how many bimolecular collisions are taking place if you can express if you can count that number is called that value is called collision frequency z11 so now you can see a collision number and a collision frequency you just focus on the molecule which is shown here red in color practically the first situation is not possible because that is the state where only one molecule is moving and other molecules are at rest only to understand the definition of collision number we are taking that imaginary situation so you just focus on the molecule which is shown here red in color and you can see the molecule is moving and other molecules are at rest and here this molecule performs a collision here and it is moving like this and in unit volume and unit time the total number of molecular collisions made by one molecule that is called a collision number so in unit time and unit volume one molecule is performing how many collisions if you express that number that is called a collision number now you can see the situation real situation where other all molecules are moving so here the total number of bimolecular collisions made by all molecules total number of bimolecular collisions made by all molecules in unit time that is called a collision frequency so that is the difference between collision number and a collision frequency the next parameter uh, we are going to discuss is uh, length of collision cylinder what is this uh, length of collision cylinder? So you already know. So this is uh, the distance traveled by the gas molecule. Here one molecular collision took place. And here this is another uh, molecular collision taking place. And uh, between these two collisions, this is the distance traveled by the gas molecule. In fact, uh, which is also equal to length of the collision cylinder you know this is the collision cylinder created by the gas molecule and uh, this is called length of collision cylinder 
this is actually equal to distance traveled by the gas molecule between two successive collisions that is called a length length of a, a collision cylinder normally you know that is speed of the gas molecule speed of the gas molecule is equal to distance distance by time but here we need distance traveled by the gas molecule and obviously from this it is equal to distance traveled distance covered by the gas molecule between two successive collisions that is equal to distance is equal to that is a speed into time that is a delta t but most importantly which type of speed we have to take so that is the point so in case of collision cylinder it can be defined like length of collision cylinder is molecules mean relative speed multiplied by change in time basically the length of collision cylinder that is equal to distance traveled by the gas molecule between two successive collisions that is the product of uh, two parameters one is a speed term term one another one is a time term so particularly here which speed we have to take we have to take a relative speed relative speed of the gas molecule multiplied by change in time so in fact uh, this product is length of collision cylinder which is derived from the basic definition of speed but here you need to understand why are we taking relative speed already in the assumptions clearly uh, you learnt one point that always perpendicular collisions are considered only perpendicular collisions are considered this is the gas molecule moving this is also the gas molecule moving all gas molecules are moving with the same average speed that is also one of the assumptions since it is a bimolecular collision if you apply parallelogram of vectors you will be getting the relative relative speed of the gas molecule will be root 2 times of a u average root 2 times of u average therefore here relative speed into delta t this this product uh, will give you length of so the last term that is uh, mean free path so let us take uh, the exact definition of a uh, mean free path this is the average distance traveled by a gas molecule between two successive collisions here you have to notice one important point that is the average distance between two successive collisions what is the average distance covered by the gas molecule if you calculate that is called a you can see the mean free path so this is an imaginary condition the state where only one gas molecule is moving and here it is performing a collision with this and it is going back and it is covering this amount of distance and here it performs another collision again it covered some distance and uh, here this is another collision going to happen and uh, like this this is the distance it is covering and uh, like this if you take the total average distance average distance traveled by the gas molecules between two successive collisions that is called a mean free path and this is the state where only one gas molecule is moving and in this state obviously mean free path is more but if you take a state where all gas molecules are moving when all gas molecules are moving that is the actual state or real state in that situation mean free path of the gas molecule will be less because number of collisions that number is more you can see here so this is the state till now you saw that is uh, single molecule is moving 
all other molecules are at rest. You can see this is the uh, theoretical situation. But uh, in this situation, you can see all gas molecules are moving. The number of collisions will increase definitely. As a result, the distance covered by the gas molecule between two successive collisions will be less.